Welcome to Barcelona for Qualcomm's 5G Summit, where we are joined by the company's president, Cristiano Amon. Cristiano, thanks for joining us. Happy to be here. Cristiano, tell us about the key themes of the summit this year. One of the main themes of the summit this year is talking about what we're going to do in 5G in 2020. We came as an industry this far in 2019 at getting 5G launch in all the leading economies across the United States, you know, Europe, China, uh, Korea pre-launched in Japan. And now uh, the next step is to bring that to scale, building coverage and getting devices at multiple price points so we actually complete the transition from 4G to 5G. That's one of the main topics of the show. The second one is continue to build on all the exciting new use cases that 5G is bringing beyond phones. And another big theme, of course, is collaboration. So tell us, how important is it for the delivery of 5G? The key ingredient for the success of this 5G is that 5G is a team sport. Uh, clearly not one company can claim that they are the absolute leader on 5G. It's about having all of the leaders in the industry working together and by building an ecosystem. And for Qualcomm, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a privilege really to have so many companies as part of our ecosystem. It's, it's all about building ecosystems and, uh, and we'll be able to show that uh, here in this event uh, by bringing everybody together across infrastructure, device makers, operators, and actually completely new companies uh, talking about how 5G will transform their industries, including the cloud players. And, and really, that's what the 5G success is all about. It's a team sport. At the moment, 5G is very much focused on consumer launches. What about the other verticals where 5G will bring additional benefits? The key uh, uh, transition in this wireless industry uh, when f we move from 4G to 5G is going to be now the first time that is not a unique technology of the telecom sector. Uh, clearly 5G now is going to touch many companies from uh, automotive to industrial to healthcare to retail to the enterprise and we'll be able to demonstrate that at this event this week when we look at all of the new use cases coming from companies such as Walmart showing how 5G is revolutionizing retail, Microsoft talking about 5G in the enterprise and then examples of companies like Bosch talking about the factor of the future with 5G and that's a great opportunity not only for those companies and in, in their industries but also for the telecom operators as well as we bring new value to the telecom infrastructure in addition of the smartphones. So tell us how 5G will provide a boost to innovation and productivity overall. We've been to a great uh, cycle of innovation as we transition from 3G to 4G. That came as the mobile uh, computer became the main computer we utilize every day in our lives with the smartphone. And, uh, and that was a, one of the greatest cycles of innovation we have. And there's no question today that the smartphone is mankind's largest development platform. As we come to 5G, we're going to go to that platform and we're going to bring the cloud to it and we're going to unlock the full potential of the cloud. Think about unlimited process speeds, unlimited storage uh, and the ability to see the emergence of the super apps. We believe that that's going to unleash the next era of innovation, even with now lot bigger scale, because it's no longer going to be unique to phones, but to all the Internet of Things and all of the other things can benefit. And the, when we think about innovation in the 5G era, uh, this is where we enable development artificial intelligence. As 5G and artificial intelligence go hand in hand because you bring the power to the cloud and the data in the cloud to every single smart device. So to wrap up, after the first commercial network launches in 2019, what can we expect for the remainder of this year and next year, of course, 2020? The, for the rest of the year, we expect to see more launches uh, across uh, all markets. And uh, we're starting to see, you know, the 5G icon uh, show up in more places as operators are going to build coverage. And, uh, and, and that was actually, we highlighted in the show this important feature. It works like magic. It's something called dynamic spectrum sharing that operators can just 
put a 5G equipment on top of a 4G uh, infrastructure and we doesn't have to clear the users or the spectrum to provide an upgrade. It's the seamless upgrade we've seen in any generation. And I think we're going to see that in the beginning of 2020 as operators build coverage for 5G. Uh, we also going to see as the next milestone, we're going to see 5G starting to show up in mid-tier devices at the more attractive price points and the rollout of uh, the new use cases. So we have a lot uh, you know, ahead for 5G uh, as we head to 2020. Cristiano Amon, thank you very much. Thank you. Pleasure to be here.